WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. And currently we have a mixed bag out here. You've got the Dow and the S&P up 206 and 16 points. It's about a half a percent and four tenths of a percent. To the downside, the NASDAQ off about four tenths, off 57 points. The Russell is flat. The semis are off 21. Tranny's up 327. Goldilocks off 45 bucks. 1806 looks like it still wants to head lower. Uh, silver's off 59 pennies, trading at 2419. Let's go spend some time with our cash indice charts out here. Uh, momentarily, we'll get over in the upper left-hand corner. You'll see the Dow. Whoops, that's not the chart. This one here. You'll see the Dow in the upper left-hand corner. So what do we know about the Dow? We know it formed a TD9 count top, bar number eight. Price on Friday got all the way back to its breakout level of support, 35,545. That's a key area. If price were to close below it, that would suggest to you and I that price would move lower, lower to where we 34, 430, 34, 443 would become its next target. That is not the target right now. Support has held. There's an A to B equal CD to the downside. If we saw a bullish reversal candle today, it would confirm a Gartley buy pattern. The S&P 500, it has a TD9 count top. It has a Rhodes Mintum indicator top out here. So it's got two topping patterns that are in place, but they could negate those at the end of the day. But right now, the topping patterns remain. If you take a look at the NDX 100, it is now joined in. It has a topping signal as we speak. It had a Rhodes Mintum indicator signal. So far, today's bar is going to be a bearish engulfing candle, likely the outcome. But what price has not done is not closed below its oscillator and change on at 16,449. If we were to do that at day's end, that would tell us about a signal change and likely a further move lower inside the NDX 100. The A to B equals CD pattern is in essence drawn in by those blue diagonal lines on the Russell 2000. Right now, that is a bullish reversal candle. It is called a key reversal bar. That would be confirming a Gartley buy pattern. But you'd really like to get that same signal inside of the Dow. But, geez, we have topping signals in the S&P and NASDAQ. Stevie, would you get it straight? No, those are the signals on the charts. Maybe it's just suggesting some kind of rotation. If we take a look at the semiconductor index, it, too, has generated a topping pattern today. It is a key reversal bar at this stage. But price needs to close below that green line at 38.58 out there. The nice move into transports, but that's just a move up into resistance. It's oscillator and change line out there. And in case of the XAU, it looks like it wants to go target its breakout level of one. 3032. Folks, stay tuned. David White is up next with the Power Trading Hour. Tom O'Brien, he'll take us on home from 3 to 4. I'll be back with you tomorrow, 1 o'clock sharp. Tune in then. Until then, have a terrific day. Be safe out there. We'll look forward to seeing you again soon.